that right there. It looks like it's bonded to nothing. It looks like it's bonded to lines. <laughs> in, um, in biochemistry classes and organic chemistry classes, because everything is carbon-based, they assume wherever there's a vertex that there's carbon there. So they don't write it, but it's there. Yeah, okay. So, what does that mean? It's right here, the carbon. But doesn't it look like there's only two bonds to carbon? And don't you think that carbon always has four friends? Making up the methane molecule? So, what's going on with this? And the answer is, there's two hydrogens, but they're not showing. Because there's hydrogens everywhere. And so they stop writing them. Just hang on, you'll get it. What's this? C, H, and pointing to this. So you now know there's a C there, right? But there's only three bonds, and if it had three bonds, it would have a plus one carbon charge, and there was no plus charge there, which means it must have an H.
that you made it small because do you remember we talked about resonance? And do you remember we talked about that the pi electrons are actually delocalized around the entire molecule? So you actually have to draw three Lewis structures to show what's going on. They don't want them sitting in their bookstore taking that space. And they pay for them. So when they send them back, they get their money back. So if you haven't done your exchange, either do it today or go down there and beg them. Could you please not send them back on Monday, Tuesday, on the holiday, Wednesday? I swear I'll bring it in, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Not in your head? Okay. Okay. Chapters 1 to 11, yes, it is still online. Um, <coughs> um, but you're going to, if you're going to take 156, if you're not going to take 156, you're going to sell your book back, and they won't take it unless you have the real complete solutions manual. They'll just say forget it. If, and then you'll be able to sell it to anyone either. If you're going to take 156, you need a complete solution. It's free. It's free. It's fully free. 
ethanol would put something wrong like that. There's four branches of chemistry. Physical chemistry, called P-chem. Physical chemistry is this exact same course but calculus based. It focuses on not how to drive the car but how to build the car, how to make it better. All the orbitals, all the math is brought out in agonizing detail. To enjoy PCAM, you must be very fluent in math. You must enjoy math. Organic chemistry, OCHEM, is just tell me how to drive the car. I want to know how it works. And another analogy is organic chemists can cook. Physical chemists have to follow the directions and they add exactly what it says in the recipe. Do you know the type? And in organic chemists, they're like, oh, this has some raisins to this. And you're like, wow, it doesn't say in the recipe. So organic chemists are responsible for making molecules that no one has ever made before. There's a lot of cooking, a lot of creativity. Do <coughs> you see the kind of people that an organic chemist would be versus a physical chemist? Stephen Zumbo is a pea chemist. He is very mathematical. He likes correctness. And Lewis structures are very flaky. They're very flaky. You make up an octet roll and you violate it and blah, 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 blah. And, and generally speaking, so one of the greatest physical chemists that ever lived on before he was at UC, he was very proud of the fact that he got a D as in dog in organic chemistry. But he wrote the definitive book on physical chemistry. And he wore that D like a bad. I got a C. Organic chemistry, though. <laughs> okay. Really crazy smart guy. Um, so Stephen Zumbel is a crazy smart physical chemist, but he doesn't know how to do Lewis structures. He just doesn't. He's not an organic chemist. So this is the right way to draw the Lewis structure. This is what's in your solution spaniel. This is the scheme to trust me.
familiar with the problems where we have a like an H H bond is like 432 kilojoules and stuff like that. When we have a chart, or we just give us the energy. Okay, so remember bond association energy? Bonds, is this what you're talking about? Uh, I think so. Uh, it's like bonds broken. Bonds like, broken yeah. versus bonds plus. You don't have to memorize any of those bond association energies. I will provide them to you. Okay. But I might provide some to you that you don't need. Okay. You know, you have to be able to figure out which ones you need to solve the problem. And you won't provide the equation. No, you need to know that it's bonds. We do need to know the like the bond the bond angles and all that stuff that Excellent she Excellent question. You do need to know the bond angles in a in a square pyramid, where that comes from, if it's polar, a tetrahedron, hybridization, polarity, yes, all that stuff. And I kind of summarized it on the orange sheet. Square pyramid, trigonal pyramid. You need to know the lone pairs go equatorial on a trigonal bipyramid. You need to know that you have the tetrahedron with two lone pairs at the bend. Yes? You have to know the shorthand. What? The shorthand for each. Uh, I can't hear you. They're making too much noise. Go ahead. Uh, the shorthand for each uh, bond, like for each, like, all the geometry. You know that's the shorthand, the furthest column to the right. Shorthand. Yeah. Like the A B2 E2. Yeah. Um, that shorthand notation was just for you to see connections. Like this would be a A B4 position a lone pair on it. Okay. And, and I know they're not the same, but it's still A B4, which is tetrahedral. So would it be something like, oh, which one of these structures is an A B4, whatever shorthand was? Um, Are we familiar with that? Would there study. be a question, is this structure an AB3E and AB2E2? I don't know. I, I would think that would be an easy question. You have to know the correct Lewis structure. Um, typically, my questions will say something like, an atom, here's an exam question. Don't try to write it down, just think. An atom has a double bond, a single bond, and a lone pair on it.
drive the car, not who is in the car. There'll be plenty of time for you to invent a car later. And the next orbitals are called high two C and A. And there's sigma two C, and there's five star two C, and then there's sigma star two C, and you're done. divided by two, and that's the bond order. Thank you. 
charge, a moving charge generates a magnetic field. Physics, just accept. Any moving charge generates a magnetic field. So this electron is spinning, pick your choice, clockwise. This one is spinning counterclockwise. The magnetic fields cancel each other. And the way you say not in science is you say dia. So you would predict that H2 would be diamagnetic, not magnetic. What about H2 plus? What about H2 plus? I know we've